All right, so the first main difference between the Blade class submarine and the Mantis class submarine is going to be the size, as we can probably tell right now. So if we look at it from a top-down view, we can see that obviously the Blade class submarine is like twice the size and length as the Mantis class submarine, because the Blade class submarine is way longer. It's way wider because it's got those giant wings on the side. The Mantis class is a little bit, you know, slim and smaller and more compact. And the Blade class submarine is way bigger than that. Sort of like a, looks like a starship almost, but you know, whatever. So yeah, size is a big difference between these two because the Blade class submarine is way bigger than the Mantis class submarine. And with that, we can move on to the overall exterior. All right, so starting with the Mantis class submarine, we can see that around all the sides of the submarine, we can see there's a bunch of, uh, what do you call these, like precursor markings or textures, whatever you want to call them. And then the Mantis class submarine also has that nice green backdrop behind it and makes it appear like it's glowing at all times so that's super awesome as well the primary black color that we can see all over the mantis class submarine is also textured really well so that's nice too if we go around to the back of the submarine we can see right here the textures sort of change up that's a nice little detail on the little black part the textures sort of change up and then we can see this where the engine is so the engine has this big old square right here and then this shape and it also has that green you know backdrop with the precursor markings all over it as well the hatch to enter the mantis class submarine is on the top which is going to be a difference from the blade class submarine whenever we look at it the mantis class submarine also has these like little um i don't even know what you call these like little mandibles i guess you can say on each side there's one on the left side one on the right side and they're on the left and right side of the cockpit and speaking of the cockpit why is the blade moving on its own speaking of the cockpit we can see that this glass it's all it's all green you know as we did expect a precursor submarine to be it's a little more detailed if we take a closer look because we can see that there's a bunch of precursor markings and stuff all over the glass giving it a nice little nice little texture aside from just being like a basic looking glass so that's also super neat as well so looking at the blade class submarine we're starting at the side again so we can see that just like the mantis class submarine it also has these like little precursor some markings all over it although they don't have that green backdrop that the mantis class has so it doesn't look like it's glowing the entire submarine is like a sort of black color the textures are a little bit lower resolution but that's okay and since the uh blade class submarine is a lot larger than the mantis class submarine they also have these big old wings on the on each of its sides so we have a giant wing right here arched around and then we have another giant wing right here why is this reef back right on top of me all right if we go around to the back of the submarine we can see there's a similarity so moving on to the back side of the blade class submarine we can see there's going to be a similarity between this and the mantis class submarine but let's talk about the difference first and the main difference is going to be these two extra engines that the blade class submarine has both on the left side as we can see right here there's one on the left side and there's one on the right side so two new added engines and then we have this again this center rear engine has the big old square in the middle as we you can see and then it's got that nice little shape don't know what that shape is called specifically but if we take this shape right here this is the way this engine looks right here if we take this and then we look at the mantis class submarine they look very very similar if not the same all right now that we're looking at the front of the submarine we're going to see some more similarities as well so the glass right here on this submarine is also green just like the mantis class submarine although the mantis i mean not the mantis although the um the blade class submarine does not have like the same detailed textures as the mantis does it does have a sort of like dirty look to it i feel like that could be considered a texture in its own way you know it's not just like some clear perfect glass it's got a little dirty texture to it almost like the submarine is being used for a long time and then another similarity we can see is the fact that both these submarines have things on the left and right hand side of the um cockpit so we can see that these so the mantis class submarine had these little uh mandibles right here on the left and right hand side and then we have the blade class submarine over here has these little like blades on the left and right hand side right next to the cockpit and another another difference is how you're going to enter this submarine so with the mantis class submarine you would enter it through the top because the hatch is on the top with the blade class submarine you're going to enter it through the bottom because the hatch is on the bottom and it also looks a little different it's like a big old circle and the mantis class hatch is like a square so now let's move on the inside all right so starting with the mantis class submarine as soon as you get in the submarine you can see to your right we have one two three four five we have five lockers of storage they all have you know pretty decent storage as well so that's super awesome and then if we look to the left we have the little power cell area this thing runs on four different power cells all in the same little spot and they have like you know like sort of green to sort of match the uh match the vibe of the submarine so that's nice too if we head up near the front of the submarine look to the left we can see there's a little upgrades panel right here access the upgrades there's only two right here and then it also comes with its own fabricator so that's super awesome as well the submarine has a base depth of 2,000 meters and if we look at the cockpit we can see that the interior a nice little detail about the glass is you can see the 
um, details on the glass on the outside, you can also see it on the inside as well. And the glass also has that nice green color. So nice little detail there. The seat isn't really like a seat. I don't even know what you would call this. And then when you pilot this submarine, you're gonna put your hands up to sort of like drive it around. You're not actually gonna like use the steering wheel or anything like that. So that's also something that we'll look at. And while this is like a little narrow hallway, as far as like room goes, you can still like, there's still like some pretty decent room to like move around. You know, you can move in like all the different directions in the submarine. It's not like too, too cramped. Everything isn't like right on top of each other. All right, so here we are in the Blade class submarine. A big old difference between this and the Mantis class submarine. This one is not very narrow, rather a little bit wider on the inside. So we have these two big old panels, one on the left and one on the right. The left one doesn't really do anything, I think, but you can build stuff on it. So you'd probably put like a fabricator right here. And then maybe like a locker, you know, whatever you want to do. If we look to the right, we can see that this other panel over here houses all these storage for the Mantis. I mean, not the Mantis, the Blade class submarine. I keep mixing their names up. And then if we turn around, the upgrade panel is right here. All the way in the back is on like a little pedestal. So that's super cool. It has a few more upgrades. And then we can see that the vehicle batteries are right here on the left and right hand sides. Both these vehicles need four. They both run off of four. And I glitched the submarine. Isn't that awesome? Both these vehicles run off of four power cells. So that's a similarity as well. And then if we come up to the cockpit we can see some differences so up here we can see that there's an actual seat that you can sit in so that's nice and there's like a little uh control panel i guess you can say like a little steering wheel that you'd use to drive the submarine around but the glass is yeah you can't really tell that there's glass here it's not like green on the inside like it is with the mantis class submarine but there is a lot more room to move around up here and you can actually like walk around to the seat and stuff so more room, a little less detail. And also the base step for the Blade class submarine is only 1,000, whereas with the Mantis class, it is 2,000. And with that, we can head on to the last thing, which is going to be how both these submarines handle and their speed. All right, so the Mantis class submarine, it's a, it's a bit of a, uh, a faster submarine overall, I would say. Oops, it's on my phone. It's a bit of a faster submarine, as we can see, I'm sort of like, you know, flying just a little bit, but it is a little bit harder. It takes a little more to turn this thing, so less maneuverability, but it is a little bit faster, so that's nice. I think it's going like a little bit faster than the Seamoth, than the Seamoth speed. Well, yeah, the Mantis class submarine, pretty decent speed, I was saying. Most like slightly faster than the Seamoth does, and it's a little, a little less maneuverable, but still, you know, it's like manageable. And it's not like you're turning it like turtle speeds or anything so with that let's go to the blade class submarine now there's another similarity right there we can see that my character's hand is up but you know the cockpit is a little it's a little more zoomed in so we actually we can't see our full hands but both of these submarines whenever you're piloting them you do put your hand up like you're like sort of using the force so that's a nice similarity there and we can see that the blade class submarine is actually a little bit slower than the mantis class submarine likely because it's a bigger submarine you know which obviously makes sense and it has some better maneuverability as i can as we can see i'm moving around i'm able to turn a lot faster and stuff the only problem is it's really easy to bump into stuff with this submarine because with the mantis class submarine it's a little bit more narrow and smaller so you're not going to be bumping into as many things but with the blade class submarine it's a lot bigger especially because the two giant wings on the left and right hand side so it's going to be really easy to like collide and stuff so it's going to be a little bit harder to gauge like where you're how wide your submarine actually is you may not know what all you can actually fit through let me see if i can fit through this right here Okay, guess not. These are the two only modded precursor submarines that I know of, at least. If there's more, feel free to let me know so I can go and, you know, check those out. I will say another common similarity that both these submarines have is how buggy they are because these are... These two submarines are quite literally some of the most buggy submarines I've ever used. Like, whenever you go near the back of both of these submarines, it'll, like, put you underwater for whatever reason. Like, let me just show you for an example. Okay, so if we go to the back of the submarine... Now I'm underwater. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Now I'm just swimming around. Class submarine. And then the Blade class submarine, is, it sometimes moves on its own. I think it's whenever like fish bump into it, it starts like moving entirely. And then as we can see, if I try to move against it, it'll just act all weird. I don't know. So they are both a bit more buggy than the average submarine. So that's a nice little difference between them. A nice little funny difference at least. So yeah, other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.